Many didn't recognize Moses. Many didn't recognize Elijah. Many didn't re- They never recognized him. Till they're gone, then they recognize it. The unbelievers seen in the days of Noah, only... What did the unbelief look at? I've told you what the believers saw. Now let's see what the unbelievers saw. The believers... Aaron, Joshua, and many of them seen God in Moses. And the works of God Moses done. That's the reason they know God was in him. They looked and saw God in Moses. The rich man looked and seen exactly who he was. See? But he refused to follow him. Because he loved the things of the world too much to follow Jesus. How many rich men? Well, listen to this tape of that type. Don't have to be always rich in money. No, you can be rich in lust, rich in pleasures of this life. How many men, how many young girls, how many young boys will not sell out their popularity of some sex queen or some Ricky with a banjo or guitar? Going out entertaining some rock and roll or some dance that he's able to do. How many of them would claim their riches of popularity and refuse when they sit right in the meetings and watch the hand of God move and declare His Word? How many will do it? He chose His denomination. He could live by it. Jesus was a fanatic to His denomination, so He had to either take what Jesus said or either He had to take... Why didn't He go to His priest and say, What can I do to have eternal life? He know the priest know nothing about it. So he come to Jesus and said, What can I do? Jesus said, Keep the commandments. Throw it right back in his lap. He said, I've done this. He said, Keep the commandments. Then he still didn't have eternal life and he knows he didn't. You can keep all the commandments and you haven't got eternal life yet. So Jesus said, Now if you want to do what's right, go sell what you got and give it to the poor. Come follow me. That was too much for him. See? We find out that he looked and seen who he was. But yet, refused to take it, and his next look was in hell, looking away up and seeing Lazarus in the bosoms of Abraham. Pilate looked one time. When he brought him, he'd never seen him before. His hands tied. Blood running out of his back. A crown of thorns on his head. Pilate looked and was convinced because a horse come galloping down the street and a, a rider jumped off and run over and said, Here's a wife has sent you a letter. And he looked at it and she said, Pilate, my beloved husband, have nothing to do with that just man. For today I've suffered many things in a dream because of him. He trembled his knees beat together. And he said, If you are the Son of God, if you're the King, why don't you speak out? Are you the King of Israel? He said, You have said it. He said, Tell us truth. He said, To this end I was born. And Pilate marveled. He and all everybody was begging and crying at his feet. He said, I have power to kill you or I have power to release you. He said, You have power of nothing unless it be given to you, my Father. Sir. He was convinced that that was more than a man. He was thoroughly convinced that it was more than a man. Certainly he was. But what? His politics and popularity was too great. See, he turned him down. His popularity was too great. The politics, his position in life was too great to accept this fanatic. wonder how many pilots will be listening to this. That your position in some denomination will be too great to accept the real Lord Jesus. Standing in the position that he is today. The Roman soldier at the cross looked on Jesus. After the earth had had a nervous prostration, shook to the rocks, rung out of the mountains, and the sun went out in the middle of the day and turned dark. The stars didn't come out to give its light. In the earth burst forth with rocks and an earthquake. The zigzag lightning swept the skies and ripped the temple to veil from the top to the bottom. And the people running and screaming, they didn't know what had taken place. That Roman soldier that helped nail him there had punched the sword to his heart. Then he looked, but it was too late. 
He looked and believed, but it was too late for him to believe. What he had done had sealed his doom. He had run the spear through the Savior's heart. It was too late. I wonder how many Romans today has done the same thing and will do the same thing. You might look someday, but it might look too late.